Yeah. Is it? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Okay. No problem. Please. Keep an extra fish for Chen. Thank you.
um, at the tragic obliteration of the goddess and uh, the terrible insertion of the patriarchy.
Are you still with us?
of all as one 
And we all, I have a vision. It all makes sense. I see everybody concentrating, no, focusing on ascension, raising consciousness, meditation and healing, channeled into God essence. The inner child wanders enchanted forest tents, fairy glens and mossy glades give solid connections to earth. In the Garden of Eden, through contemplation, masculine and feminine unite through meditation. Christ consciousness, love, compassion, oneness. I'm blessed, you're blessed. Take what you want from this. Bring light to the dark. Stop bearing the cold. I search for spike nard and ethereum gold. More love in their hearts. Organic weed for their farms. Bear feet on bare earth. No need to bear arms. Arms are for hugging, not holding guns and thugging. Eyes to the sky. Sunlight, your third eye. Telepathy works best, but for now I try with words to express. You are me, I and I. Adam, so we are honoured to accept your offer and uh, we will remain here in the Ascension Station to grow physically and spiritually and mentally into unity and tranquility and synchronicity. Thank you. A very wise decision is the Ascension meeting. Come, come, let us uh, go to your quarters and we will start your training in the morning. Character we haven't heard from yet, a legendary character, one you've all heard of, has something to say about 2012 and the Earth ascending. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Merlin. Greetings. From the surface of the Zubuya. To remember the greater memory circuit. Merlin, the song of the crystal earth. Merlin, night seer, who writes the crystal script, whose spectral robe is the spiraling filament staircase down which the 13 galactic rays descend into Camelot subterranean lake. Where untold fragments of the One Three swirl in luminous self-absorption, emitting strange electrical charges, attracting to each other their own forgotten sources. Merlin, surrendering to you, following you, I arrive at last at the deepest point of your realm, the innermost Earth, which is also the flight room of the mighty crystal ship Excalibur. And there, in the temple, called refuge of the dragon and the grail, Merlin's apprentices, Andor the dragon-witted warrior, and Biel the grail-weaving far-star-born princess, stir the cauldron of unconditional love. No common mix, and yet this brew, pulsing with the harmony of all the stars we have ever called home, bubbles and seeps through the portholes, connecting the larger collective soul bodies of this dear earth. To its myriad individual dream bodies ourselves, now caught in our postures of aggression, conflict and confusion. Stir, 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 Merlin cries. Make sure the recipe is correct. Mix in it the formula that will register in the dreamers as the alchemy of love and the desire for magic as ceremonial as the sun is pure. Stir, 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 this earth is aching, breaking, shaking, its dream dragon body restless to emerge, crouches at the edge of the known, waiting for that right moment to appear in all its rainbow wonder. You apprentices of the crystal flight room of Excalibur, 
refuge of the dragon and the grail, Andor and Biel. I call to you from my sleep, on behalf of all the dreamers of this planet, stir the potion well, that the grail may appear from within the dragon's coiled tail. Its cloud banks bursting with light never before seen by eyes of flesh. Merlin, from the rocks of Earth's far-flung island realms, appear simultaneously in all your shape-shifting forms, speaking the dawn, writing the power of the dream, with your crystal script. Now, I call upon you to cast your panharmonic spell, to awake the dreamers all, and stop their march through this living hell. O Andor and Biel, cook in glee, the potion that returns all memory, for now we must awake with all into the greater dream, or not awake at all. As winter solstice 2012 approaches, the acceleration of change, novelty, originality, spontaneity, and supernatural phenomenon reaches fever pitch. And those not prepared for the shift from 56K to broadband reality are simply unable to handle the tsunami of high vibrational energetic information pouring in from the center of the galaxy at the same time from the center of every atom in their bodies. And they simply short circuit. However, on stage, hello everyone, as you're all standing there, you're supposed to be on stage while I'm speaking. Thank you very much. However, in the thousands of ascension stations around the world, 100 million minds become one unified mind. 100 million humans become one planetary human. 100 million souls become starship Earth. The third dimension becomes the fifth dimension. Inside becomes outside. Above becomes below. As Earth becomes heaven.